Hey everyone, welcome to Nuts and Bolts. I'm Joseph and today we're going to be talking about a burning subject. Some might say it ignites conversation. In this hot topic, we're going to be talking about the hot surface igniter. Igniters are made of silicone carbide, making them capable of dealing with intense heat. They are in most gas ovens and can also be found in many dryers and furnaces. Electrical resistance from the igniter blocks current to the gas valve, making sure that it stays closed. The resistance will then decrease as the temperature rises. When the igniter reaches a temperature hot enough to ignite the gas, there will be enough electricity to pass through to open the gas valve. Once this gas is ignited, the heat from the gas is used to bake and cook food in the oven. An igniter generally has a lifespan of two to three years depending on how much you bake. On rare occasion, the igniter will work intermittently. An oven with a partially functioning igniter will lead to food that is baked unevenly, which can result in hot and cold reviews of your food. In this case, look at the igniter for a hot spot. The igniter will be glowing, but only in a certain area, which will cause your oven not to light or heat properly. If you need to test whether your igniter is good or bad, you can use your multimeter to test for resistance or continuity. The reading should range between 40 to 400 ohms, while a bad igniter will generally show no resistance or continuity. You can usually see damages on the igniter. The igniter is the most commonly defective part causing the gas oven not to turn on. And when your oven's igniter fails, your meals are definitely off to a bad start. But don't worry, don't worry. With a little education from our free step-by-step -step videos, it's a fairly quick repair. You can get to this part by simply removing the oven racks, giving you access to the oven base plate. Underneath the plate is where you'll find the meat and potatoes. Man, I knew I snapped that somewhere. Remember, unplug any appliance before attempting any repairs to avoid explosive consequences. Let me know if you have any questions about your igniter. Feel free to drop a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe. And stay tuned for future content. I'm Joseph and this is Nuts and Bolts.